Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jodas. And I'm TNT9. I'm Mike the Explosive One. And uh, let's crack into another one. TNT, what Yo. you got for me? I mean, we're just going to be, we're, we have to, we are obligated, Jonas, by podcast law to discuss the Super Bowl. All right. I understand we're a little bit behind. That was a little last week. Some of the talking points have already been talked over, but we ain't spoke about them. Jonas, you actually saw the Super Bowl. I watched it. I yeah. didn't watch Usher. I didn't see Luda. Wow. You didn't even watch the halftime show? I mean, it was on. Do you care about Usher at all? I was never an Usher boy. What about Yeah? I couldn't even tell you how many any Usher songs. Does he the one that wears the band? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. does he wear a band-aid? Yeah. What? Does he wear the band-aid on his face? Jones, don't fuck with me. <laughs> hey, look, that's that's disrespectful. <laughs> I'm not gonna let you get that. You know the difference between Usher and Nelly. All right. Oh, you, Nelly. No, that's you the other one. Act like you don't know the difference between Usher and Nelly. I now mean, I wouldn't I, expect you to know who know, Alicia Keys' husband is. That's John Legend. See, that's that's <laughs> just that's hurtful. That hurts my heart <laughs> a little bit. No, I can change. He's, no, I he's, can change. No, Alicia Keys is, I mean, I can see how you can make that connection. Because they both play piano? Because they both play piano, but no. Alicia Keys is married to Swiss Beats, who is actually the music producer. For who? John for, Legend? I mean, for a lot of people back oh, in the Oh, some people want it all, but she doesn't want anything at all? I would say the biggest thing is that Swiss Beats did is that he was, uh, or I would say that I hold him in uh, my brain for is that he did all of the DMX albums early oh. on. So he did all of these, all the Rough Riders. He was big into the Rough Riders, that whole industry. Anyway, Super Bowl happened, Jonas. You actually watched it. What would you actually think about the game? Give me some insight, man. Oh, my God. It was so boring. That is what I keep hearing a lot of people say is that it was one of the most boring yet. Like It, it got exciting at the exciting end. Exciting at the end. It was all defense. Yeah. It was, okay, so the 49ers scored a touchdown almost immediately, and it was like 7 nothing. Then it was 10 nothing. And then it was like 10-3 at halftime. The second half was all field goals. Yeah. And then they finally, in overtime, drove down and scored a touchdown to win after the 49ers got a field goal first. Yeah. So there was, I think it was 22-19. to 19. So that is five field goals for one team and four for the other. There was nine field goals in the That's game. That's there was, much. I think there was three or four over 50 yards. Which means they weren't doing anything on offense. They said there was only like seven 50-yard field goals in the entire history of the Super Bowl. And four or three of them were in that game. Okay. Like, so, long kicks, no offense. Uh, I think the most exciting thing that happened was Kelsey yelling at Andy Reid. Because it's memed all over the internet Did you, did you hear about why that might have been? Because he pulled him out of the game. He pulled him out of the game. And then, like, the very next play, I believe that the, the, the position that he was going to be holding was weak. And it calls for them to lose yards, I think it was. I mean, he can be as passionate as he wants. He yeah. just showed young kids that you should go up and yell on your coach and chest bump him. And he got no, no repercussions. I mean, I... <laughs> Look. So your boss makes you mad? You're on chest bump him, okay, screaming so in his face. What I would, what I will say is that those guys all love each other. They, do they? they treat, yeah, they do because a football, I love my boss too. A football team is different than a regular job because when you're work, when you're on a football team, you're all working for the same thing. You have a common goal. When I'm working for a job, I'm just trying to get. I'm just here so I don't get fined. You know what I'm saying? I just want to make Practice. my money and go home. Yeah, I feel like as a, as a football club, you're working for that goal because not only is it financially beneficial for you all, but it's also like you go down in history. Okay. So it's like you're all a part of that ship. So you if Kelsey's backup invested. went up and did the same thing, he'd be fine too? Yeah, I'm saying that you're not going to be like the one of the best players on the team is going to get fined for something like that. It's like, just, you know, chill out. He said, oh, and he even made a statement. He said that. I love him. I, I was just telling him how much I loved him. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I understand. Taylor got some Super Bowl-ish she, after the Super Bowl. She got some Super Bowl-ish, but she didn't get that Super Bowl ring. I mean, she gets it by proxy. She was ringing something. <laughs> what was she ringing? The bell. The bell of what? <laughs> the mountain. I don't know she what that means. She hit the mountain, dude. She, what, she wow. Kelsey'd it up. Give me a... I don't understand Save what a you horse, mean. ride a cowboy. You know, it's crazy because I've known you for like 25 years and I don't know what the fuck you're saying. <laughs> so I wouldn't expect anybody who's, you know, Save tuned in. Save a horse, ride a cowboy. Gotcha. <laughs> 
<laughs> Absolutely. Kelsey's a cowboy. She was riding Kelsey. Oh, after so you're that. saying she got some post Super Bowl dick? Yes. Why not just say that? <laughs> I was trying not to be crass like some folks. Well, I mean, you meant that to say crassly. You're going to say, I bet she got some. I bet she had coitus with her boyfriend. She at the longest yard. Oh, <laughs> hey, I don't. I, TNT, I've known you 25 years. I don't know what you're talking about right <laughs> I now. I think she got locked into some gridiron after the oh, game. Oh, you know wow. I God damn. I don't know if it got that deep. I don't know if she got locked up. Either way, no, she did not get a ring, and I'm sure she probably did have a good night, man, because, like, if nothing's got to be more sexier to a woman than watching your man win the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah. Yell at his boss. <laughs> yell at his boss and then win the game? The only thing better is he would have scored the winning touchdown. Yeah. She would have on the field. Right? I feel yeah. like I would have on the field if I'd seen that. Yeah. Like, that's some true masculinity right there. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now is that Travis Kelsey, I understand that Travis Kelsey, Taylor Swift thing is like played into the dirt and people oh, kind of hate it to this point. They didn't show a lot of Taylor. I think they did in the beginning of the game, but towards the end, they kind of cut it off. They, I they, thought they were going to show her like 30 times. They only showed her like 10 or something. Yeah. They showed her like chugging a beer at one point. But, you know, it's just like, I love, I do, I like Travis Kelsey. I do. He sounds he's, like he's a from brother. Cleveland too. Bro, he sounds like a brother. He's from Cleveland. He's he's got some swag. He dated all black girls before this. He's in the community. Honestly, he's invited to the cookout. <laughs> Cuz he dated black girls? He dated uh, all black girls before this. Yeah. So yeah, and I'm sorry. He 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 seems like a cool dude. What do you think about Patrick Mahomes? There's some talk currently that he may be uh if he keeps up this pace that he might He's already beating Brady's pace. Like That's he what has I'm more saying. yards, more touchdowns, more wins. He's younger. Younger, has more Super Bowls. Yeah. But then like Brady hit a bigger stride later in his career where Mahomes has been like full go from day from one. From day one. Yeah, this says they showed Taylor Swift eleven times mm, for five not, seconds each. That's not bad. That's not bad. I thought it would be 30. I thought it would be more too. But they know that people have a little bit of fatigue towards her. I am so right. fatigued. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I don't even see her that much. I just hear about it more than anything else from like people. I knew she was trouble. Yeah, she was definitely trouble as soon as she walked through the door. God damn it. Ice Spice was there. She looked unimpressed. I don't know if you saw that. Ice Spice? Oh, I, yeah, 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 yeah. She has red hair. All right, Ghost, did you see the, I got, we got to get into the commercial, so I know we're running short on time. Um, if you're at our YouTube channel, you will be able to see, but, uh. My favorite was the Ben Affleck Duncan commercial. I didn't the see that. The setting record with a one. staggering 100. Did you see the, the Christian commercial that, that popped up that, uh, got people all in a. I, I guess not. Maybe I did. I feel like I remember there being a Jesus commercial and I was like. Jesus commercial that got people kind of like. Don't ask. Apparently the song is playing, even though I clicked the button for that not to happen. But yeah, so it just shows like people of different various Okay, races. I do remember this. I didn't know what the hell was happening. And yeah. then were they just, why are they cleaning each other's feet? Is and, that is that something Jesus does? And, uh, you know, it shows a, a priest watching a gay man's feet, a black gay man's feet. Woo. Jesus, Jesus didn't, didn't teach, teach hate. hate. He didn't. And he washed feet. Oh, yeah, why is he washing feet? Okay, so there's the symbolism. I don't really want to go deep into the Bible symbolism of it, but the, the whole idea of Jesus washing feet is uh, is in a Bible story where he washes the feet of, like, prostitutes and, like, uh... Oh, he cleanses their and, like, sins? beggars. Yeah, and it's to show oh, us that... Nice. It's to show us that he is humble himself. To wash the feet of somebody else shows What's that wrong you're... wrong with prostitutes? To show that you're humble in yourself by washing the unclean. So Whoa, Ayo, she's so, unclean? So people got mad because you don't wash the feet of gay people. You don't do that. I've never washed anyone's feet. Have you ever washed a gay man's feet? I would think they'd be included in anyone. <laughs> do, but... you, do you want to tonight? <laughs> Are you trying to tell me something? <laughs> you coming out of the closet? <laughs> First Bruh. off, I don't want to wash your feet, regardless of the scenario. <laughs> Two, if you're coming out, just say that. <laughs> I'm just saying, dude. <laughs> so, I don't know. That's what, yeah. So, Jesus is known for washing feet, but apparently people didn't like that. I've they, never they didn't like heard the that imagery. Jesus washed feet. 
Yeah, it was a thing, and he did. He did, and there. And if you're a Christian or you claim to be one, then you know that's the truth. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Next time I see a priest, I'll be like, "Tell me about Jesus washing feet," and he they should know, or they're a fake priest. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's a pretty commonly known okay. Jesus trope. I'm in. I'm it's, in to ask him. It's like you know about the crucifixion, right? I yeah, I know that. I, I figure it's like I figure it's like you know God, Jesus, crucifixion, feet. Really? That? Oh no! Walking on water. What's after that? Like what? Judas. You know? Okay, so you know. What about like the bread? Do you know about the bread box? Yeah. I like know the... you eat crackers and drink wine. Okay. Okay. We, okay. That's good. That's that's we gotta know about that. The that's blood good. and the body, although it's not. You know about confession. So feet is really down low on your totem pole, huh? I don't huh? even know. I don't. I don't. Pretend, I pretend to know nothing about feet. All right, fair enough. I'm not a foot guy. All right, look, we're running out of time here, so let me just hit a few more quick points. Beyonce, uh, country album. I don't care. Oh, okay. Never listen to a Beyonce Beehive's album. Beehive's going western. Uh, Beehive come for me on Twitter. I don't go there either. Um, and Kanye had a commercial. I don't care. Everything on this website is twenty dollars, though, which is really even Yeezys. What happened? Oh, the what happened? <laughs> the fall from grace. He's selling Yeezys for twenty bucks. Bro. How many Yeezys he got? I, I don't even wear Yeezys, but for twenty bucks, I'll wear. I'm Yeezys. not giving that man a dime. He made so much money off twenty dollars. Oh. Yep. Commercial cost him, I think, seven million dollars. He made that back. Easy. Oh, sure. Either way. That's it, man. Let's get out of here. All right. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.